Bert is going to pop up. Bert is going to pop his butt up, then he's going to pop his chest up. And I don't mind this stuff right here. I mean, if you want to see what you're asking. I don't mind if you want to tuck your head and run single leg stuff down too. I mean, that's, if you like doing that, if you like to tuck your head from the mat or from your feet, I mean, that's on you if you like those abs and single leg. But what's going to happen is I'm going to, he's going to shoot through his head. I'm down, I'm going to run corner. He's going to pop up. Pop up, pop up. Now I'm going to follow positions to go get three. I mean, to go get four. Okay? Or, I'm down, I go to spin. He's starting to step up. He wouldn't stay tripod, he'd pop all the way up, right? Okay, so you just pop off. You just, you just go butt up, then chest up. And so now we're running down leg attacks. We're running down leg attacks. He's giving them the feel that we have in the mat. Feel me? Questions? Got it? Got it. Ready? Got it. Hey. Same deal, you're shooting your hands, but then you're popping up just like you would in the mat situation. Most of the time, if you're doing it right, I'm circling out, right? But instinctively, every now and then, we just want to pull out. It happens like that all the time. Ready? Go. Hey! You are beat into such a strong position, especially if you're falling to a high crotch or a double. You're beat into such a strong power position. Don't settle with the two. Go get four. If I threaten the four, he'll give me the two. But I don't want to miss the four, okay? So if I beat you, if I'm here, if I'm here and I'm running corner, and I beat you, go get him. You know what I'm saying? Get your four. Because if you don't, if you go get your four, if you go get your four, and he turns down. Look at the position. Look at the position. Turn down. Come back. Turn down, turn down. That's when my combinations show up. That's when options show up. When you're looking to, if he don't turn down, I take four, or he turns down, and here comes legs showing in your face. Here comes gut showing in your face. But you gotta threaten the four for him to turn down. Otherwise, otherwise he's gonna keep doing it. You go back down to the mat, thank you. Just like that guy did from strong to weak. Stay strong, take four. Start again. Partner pop up for him. Give you a feel. Sit. Go. Go, go, go. There we go. You don't have to be hard, you just have to be perfect. Take your hand with you, Tyler. You feel me? You should have took that hand with you sooner. That hand's got to come sooner. It's either got to drag hard or it's got to come. Chase down his butt, chase down his ass. Keep coming, 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 keep coming. See there? That's gonna happen. That's the way it's gonna work. Right? Because if I do, if I come back the other way, if I come back the other way, it gives him that, that gives him that little space to react and wrestle. Because he reckons, he's just looking for a way out. When you give him a little space, okay, thank you. You can, you took the pressure off this corner and decided to jump, oh, thank you. I'm up, I'm up, right? But when you're threatening this way, he's got to do a couple things. Come out this way, pop up, and you know what his next position is going to be, so you're anticipating, right? So if he's really defending the heart, maybe you release it all the way and go chase the leg down. Other man, ready? Hey, we got a question. Question here, hang on. Try. Don't, don't ever do this. Look, see this? So if he's come, come go get him. Because you are going to have some guys who start sitting down and you like to see that. And that's all Colin wants to do. He wants to stay through the position as opposed to trying to go around to his back. You feel it? So as soon as I get an angle, most people get here, and even on our feet, they get here and they want to spin around me. 
They want to spin this way to get around and get locked, as opposed to getting through me this way. When they're getting through me this way, I'm defending with my balance, as opposed to, all I got to do is defend your speed now, and I can stay with you, right? Anytime I get to a position of an angle, I want to get through my angle, right? Sometimes I'm like this, on in here. Sometimes you're like this, because you're here, and you're coming around, and he starts flying out. See this? You can got to come down. And then I got to start getting through it. Getting through that position, right? Should have been better technique, a little better technique. But that hand comes down, get through my angle, as opposed to trying to get around him, right? And if I try to get around him as high as I was, he'll go get a leg. You know, he's back in the position of scores. Okay? Take that hand with you, run through those angles. Second man. Ready? Go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Good job. Let's go, go, go! Get ready, let's get forward. Let's get forward. Let's go for his chest, okay? Go get it. Go get it. Either run through him this way, either keep his chin and just drive through him, or release his head and go get his body. There or knees. I go get knees. Big step, big step. There we go. Come on, Jeff. 